Hello there! In this video, I will explain how to get the game working on an Android device. If you are a complete newcomer to the game and you do own a PC, I would recommend watching the other guide I've made to get the game working on PC instead, as in general you'll get more tools and a better experience there. If you do not own a PC or if you just want to play the game on the go, then this video is for you. If you are a complete newcomer, just watch through the entire video. If you've already played the game however, you can skip step 3, 4, 5 and 7. At the end of the video, you will have the game working with the English patch as well as a tool to visualize some hidden data. So without further ado, let's get started. So first, check out the video description. You will find a link to a document that contains the links for each step. The first step will be to download and set up KCI Notify. After clicking on the first link, just download the app. Launch it once it is installed. The app may then warn you that it may not work if you don't update the data. If it does warn you, touch the OK button, then click on the first download button and the DL All button below. Touch the arrow on the top left to go back to the main menu and then you should be prompted to allow Kessia Notify to access photos and media on your device. Touch the Allow button. Now go to the in-app settings and change Select Cancel Application to Go to Browser and Sniffer Mode to Passive. Scroll down until you find the Screen Overlay Settings option. Touch it and allow display over other apps. You can now close the app. Now click on the second link. You will be headed to the GitHub page of Goto Browser. Scroll down until you find the release.apk file. Touch it to download the app. Once downloaded, just install the APK. You can launch it once it's installed. Now go to the in-app settings, turn on Gadget Block Bypass, and below, change current language to your preferred language. Then touch the Download Subtitle Data button. Go in the settings regularly to keep subtitle data up to date. Below, enable the English patch, then touch the Download English Patch Data button to download the patch. Wait for the download to finish. I sped up the footage for the sake of the video. Feel free to also enable True Critical Hits or any of the other mods if you wish. Now, it is time to download a VPN, so just go download Tunnel Bear. You will only need it for the registration part. It's easy to use and the 500 megabytes it lets you use for free are more than enough to register on the game. Next, it's time to create your DMM account. Use the fourth link and you will be met with a registration screen. Do not use the third party logins on the bottom. Instead, tap your mail address and the password you want on the top and click on the yellow box to register. It should then send you an email. Confirm your account by clicking on the first link in the mail and you should now be redirected to DMM and logged in. It is now time to register on the actual game. Open the fifth link and change it to its PC version. In Chrome Android, you have to use the three dots on the top right and check the desktop side button. Turn on your VPN by the way, to use Tunnel Bear, you will need to create an account. Set it to Japan. Set your system time zone to Japan as well. Once 
Once done, go back to the page and you should have a round red button. Click on this button and then uncheck this button to avoid receiving Japanese newsletter. Fill in the information that's now displayed here. Nickname, gender, male or female, and birthday, year, month, day. And then click on the yellow button. You should then be redirected to the game screen with 20 servers to choose from. Click on any server that doesn't have a little red icon. Once done, you can close the whole tab. Set your time zone back. and turn off your VPN. It is now time to launch the game properly using every tool. First, launch KCI Notify again. If you still see this red warning on the bottom, go back to the settings and make sure you've enabled screen overlay permission. Now turn on service and then press game start. You will be redirected to Goto Browser. Just press the start button. There are some functions on the left. Refresh, mute, screenshot, lock screen rotation, keep the screen on, in-game subtitles, and logout. Enter the mail address and password you used to register on DMM, and then press the yellow button to log in. You will be then finally redirected to the game. I have cut some loading times in editing, so at least on the first time playing, you will have to wait longer for the assets to load. The game then launches you into the early tutorial. Type the nickname you want to use in game. You can't change it later, so make sure to choose something that you won't regret. Once you've typed your name, if you have trouble clicking on that select button, Try holding anywhere on the screen, then releasing on the button, or spam the heck out of it. If that still doesn't work, try restarting the app. It may warn you to restart using KCA Notify, which you just did. So while you're in this early tutorial, don't worry about it. You may choose between 5 ship girls, just choose the one you prefer. They are all pretty common and easily obtainable in game. Kankoli is a game where you collect ship girls of various types, equip them with armaments and level them up to make them stronger. You have to get a victory against the boss of each map to progress through the game. You can get new ship girls as drops while clearing maps. Back at the base make sure to repair and resupply them. And never proceed with a heavily damaged ship girl. If you do, you will lose her forever. You can also use resources to build new ship girls and equipment. In the document that's linked in the description, you will also find a bonus link that contains more information about the early game. Be sure to check it out. I'd recommend to also join my Discord linked in the description. Here is the main menu of the game. Before starting the tutorial, go in the refit menu, then click on any of the two slots of your starter. Do not equip these damicons until you know what you're doing. You can click on the right of any equipment or ship girl to lock it and avoid scrapping it. You can now go in the quest menu. You can click on the ferry on the bottom left to show more information about each quest. Select every quest to carry them out. Be aware that you can only select up to 5 at a time and that if you uncheck one, your progress won't be lost. Now go in the build menu and build a ship. Use the default recipe. You can use a fast build material right away. Now go in the fleet menu, click on swap, and then select Jinsu. 
don't forget to also lock your ships, except if it's a dupe. The game will then ask you to go in the quest menu again. Since you went before, you've already cleared some of the quests. Click on a quest that's done to collect the rewards. If you click on the ferry outside of the quest menu, you will have a bunch of information. Next, go in the sortie menu and click on exercises. In there, be sure to click on exercise squad 1 to get stronger opponents and thus more XP. Then click on the shortcut to sortie on the top right. There, you will conduct your very first sortie. On a map, the node you will go to depends on your fleet composition. So be sure to check the wiki for information about that. At the end of each battle, you may get a new ship girl. You may click on proceed if none of your ships are heavily damaged. Once the sortie ends, you have to resupply your ships. Once done, that's the end of the in-game tutorial. Way too short if you ask me. It doesn't even tell you how to repair your ships. The docks menu is where you repair your ships. Since the in-game tutorial barely tells you anything, it is strongly advised to connect with the community to get advice from experienced players. One last important thing, once you unlock your second fleet, you may access the Exped menu from the KCA Notify Ferry on the bottom left. This is important as it tells you what you need to clear expeditions. As long as you meet the expedition requirements, you cannot fail these. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video or on my Discord.